All right, welcome back to Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. Today, uh, we are going to complete Earthy Vibes. We need to construct a seismic survey of the surrounding area, so you'll need a heavy truck with a seismic vibrator installed. Equipment like this greatly increases the weight of the truck, so make sure you purchase all the necessary upgrades. So here we take the truck. Uh, which one are we going to do? Load star or the step? We used the step last time, so I'm going for the load star this time. Devices. Set devices. I cannot. Wait, I cannot put it on the back. Okay. It's not going to be the load star then. Uh. How do I... Oh, remove. And it's going to be the step. Again. Uh, devices. Frame uh, modules. Seismic vibrator. Um, what do we need for that? We need a lift kit. Because it's heavy. Then we need better tires. Off-road tires, of course. And we need... Do we need a snorkel? No, we don't need a snorkel. Uh, gearbox. No high range needed. Better engine. We already have that. Resources. We will not need that. Car goes on. Let's go. Deploy. Uh, I think it was here somewhere where we needed to go, right? Yeah, might as well. Might as well just start there. Oh yeah, we are quite close to it. So let's check it out this seismic vibrator. Oh wait, wrong buttons again. There. Stage complete. The seismic vibrator is used in geological expeditions. It shows the distance to points in the upper right part of the screen. You determine the direction yourself. At a distance of less than 150 meters from the point a sound signal is activated. After approaching the point less than 10 meters, the sound signal decreases and the command appears to start scanning. Alright. Uh, 67, 64, 61. We're getting closer. Alright. Well then, let's turn on all-wheel drive to make life easier. 47, 45, 42, 30, 26, 21, 18, 17, 16, 14, 11, here we are. Let's start. Alright, that's the first one. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, ten. Or all right, so it's that way. Making life easier. There we go. Normally in reverse. Oh no, wait, that's Snowrunner. In reverse, then you're 
able to use the differential lock, but in this game, no. Only in forwards you can use the differential lock. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. More exploration ahead. Let's go! To 68, to 64, to 61, to 50. To 40. Slowly getting where we need to be. Now uh, we are going this way. Am I going to like this? Probably not. Slow and steady. Crawl up, crawl up, crawl up. A little bit of a pull. Um. Hmm. I am going to try to go past this ridge. Although I don't think I am able to do so. Bye. Alright. Well, so much for the truck. Uh, yeah. This is quite a situation. Cannot be used. Binoculars, echo sounder cannot be used. Drone can be used. And it's a no flight zone. Alright. It's good to know. I'm happy about that. Not really. I hear animals. I heard animals. Uh, animals. Well. Looks like I'm going to have to recover and try again. Let's go. Building modules. All right, well, I'm just gonna go and try again. I'll see you guys on familiar grounds when we're near where we fell. Alright, so this is where I made the mistake of going down. I'm going up here this time. Didn't really go far. <laughs> as, as it seems. Come on, get going. There we go. That's where we got stuck last time, so...
can I get there on the other side without tipping over? Let's try and get onto these rocks here. Low gear. Let's also try a diff lock. Why? 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 Huh. Well, going down wasn't really the worst plan. That could... Could have happened. I mean... If I could have used the winch, then that would have been great, but I can't. But I do now know that I need to go down here. Somehow. Can I use the drone quickly? Alright, I'll see you guys when I'm back. I think going down was here. i uh, just gonna... Push myself through it. Yeah, this looks like a safe place to go. To go down slowly. Turn on the handbrake sometimes. You have discovered a new climb. Thank you. For letting me know. But I prefer... Uh, not to climb, just to drive. For now. is in the way. I hope I'm not going to fall into a pit of doom <laughs> anytime soon. No, don't hold me back. Just let me continue through the water. Yeah, there we go. Back onto the solids. Here we are on the new attempt. <laughs> this time we should be. Oh, there were gold mining here. It looks like should be able to reach the location that they want me to. Back. Get on top of that. Don't hold me back. Good. And then I think it's going up here. Pull the winch a little bit. It should be good. Within 10 meters, right? Should have gotten a prompt. Why do I not have a prompt? Prompt. 
Finally, expedition complete. Don't flip the car more than three times. You know. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> ah, two headquarters. That's little Colorado content done basically. The only thing I can do now is Uh, it's a free roam. Uh, oh wait, team compositions? Uh-huh, uh, -huh. uh -huh. mechanics? Plus five supply limit, oh that's nice, all locked. Hey, there's a logistician. Logistician. Plus 100 liters of fuel, plus 200 repair points, 150 meters partial scout. And marks uphills and downhills. Nice, nice. Hydro hydrologists. Hydrologist. Jaegers. Operators. Managers. You will be my manager, and then I will have a logistician. Sounds good. Uh, do I? Ah, you buy it for just once. Right. Okay. Um. For this, you need to complete Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad in order to preserve. Can't go there yet, can't go there yet, can't go there yet. So basically, you cannot go into Arizona yet. You have to go to Carpa Carpathians, I guess. Not. No. No. And no. Complete this, complete that, complete this. Oh, here, the prologue. Uh, yeah, let's do the prologue. On truck. Um, we dropped some important equipment nearby. Never mind what dropped means. It was just a small logistical miscalculation. It should take you all of 20 minutes if you hustle. Alright, so you want me to hire a logistician. And then I need a jack screw and an anchor. I'm just going to use the Tuz uh, with the jack screw and the anchor. Um, getting ready. I think that should be more than enough. Let's deploy. Let's start. Ah, the R87. Nice. Alright, let's check out what's dropped, quote unquote. I wonder. I do like the environment, though. It's really pretty. Turn off the engine and set up the drone. Uh, Alright, so that's quite an easy path. Looks really pretty though. The surroundings. Alright. I know well enough how to go there. So let's continue to, to do what needs to be done. Just push over those trees. <laughs> That's fine. The trees never bothered me anyway.
Alright, let's see what's going on here. Nothing yet. Looks like we need to head there. But first, we need to verify the heading first. Use the binoculars. Alright. Use the binoculars. Sure. Does it look like a shore? Yeah, it looks like a shore. What's over there? It's a climb. Do I need to go somewhere else? That's another climb. You know what? I like to verify just by going there. Driving up a mountain always has high risk of overturning the car. Lower the tire pressure for better grip. So you want me to go up there? Alright. Let's get this BS done. Let's get going here. Uh, let's get you ready to set up. Higher pressure, a reduced pressure, or a low pressure, low pressure. Get you into a low gear with all wheel drive on, and let's keep going. This is a hard climb, you should use the tire inflation system and the winch. I'll show you if who needs a winch. because that tree is in my way. No, no, I want that one. No. That one over there. Pull me up. You know what? Need still need more. And I didn't actually need the winch. But I did need the differential lock. That's all I needed. Alright. Press you back up. And let's get going. So what did we drop? Quote unquote. Uh, I see jack screw. All the stuff. Got everything. Now we have to go back to... Back to base camp, I think. Alright, but first... I uh, used a drone. To explore the area. I'll explore that area. All right, I understand what you're putting down there. All right. Will do, will do. into this I do like the way that this winch just can drop you as well I like that they need something like that in snow runner as well that you can just release the winch a little bit slowly Anyways, uh, we're on our way to the next location to explore. I will drive on because we're stuck on a tree. And here we go. 
go up into the hills. And the trees never bothered me anyway. Can I fit in between here? Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out, hear me out here. Yeah? Used winch there onto that tree oh no. that tree did not like me okay 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 you know what never mind don't even want to go this way anymore This ray going backwards, perfect. But where do I go? Oh, I can use the drone here, I think. Off the engine, turn on the devices, and use the drone. Seventy nine percent explored, huh? So, what do you want me to explore, though? You really want me to use the truck to go here? Eighty eight, ninety, ninety five, ninety nine. All right. Now, supply the deliver the cargo back to base. can leave. The trees never bothered me anyway. Boink. Boink. This truck can take a lot of beating without even damaging. It's nice. That's great. I like that. And here we go. Up on the logs up and over dude you wanted your supplies back right here it is and take the rewards and continue so we did the first expedition in the Carpathians here we unlock stone faced Oh, I wonder, does Arizona have one like that? Oh, yeah. Conquest of the Frontier. Fair enough. And then Mod Regions. Right. Fair. Good enough. So, uh, I'm going to leave it here. We finished Little Colorado. The expeditions, at least. Then there's uh, Arizona and the Carpathians left. Um, I'm going to chip away at these in the next coming episodes with an S. So I hope to see you in, in the long run. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon to never miss a notification. And I will hope that you have yourself a fantastic weekend coming up. Peace out.